Welcome to F5 in Ansible Lessons, replacing an SSL certificate. Using Ansible Automation Platform, we will have a pre-created inventory credentials and we'll be exposing paths to our certificates. We'll also be connecting to GitHub for our repositories, using a requirements file to pull down the F5 Network Galaxy collections, and then executing the code to replace the SSL certificates. So we'll first log into the Ansible Automation Platform then go over into our settings, job settings, and take a look at the exposed paths for the isolated jobs. Next, we'll go into our projects section where our GitHub repository is already pre-configured. Then we're going to head over to inventories and check out our big IP inventory for our demonstration. Notice there are two groups, load balancers and web servers. And then in each group, there are two subsequent hosts. One contains for the web servers, which are Docker hosts, and the other for the big IPs. Now going into the templates, the 1.2 SSL virtual server, what you can see is we're using the default execution environment, our existing project and inventory, and we have extra variables and point out the specific file names for the SSL certificates located in that AWX folder. Moving on, we're launching the code. While we wait for the code to start up, what we'll notice is that as part of the code, it will go and find whichever of the two big IPs is the active machine. They're set up in an active standby pair. When it tries to execute that code, it is only going to execute the code on the active machine. So that way, when they synchronize across each other, then the two big IPs will have the same data, but only the active machine will be the one that's configured. Next, we'll go over to the Big IP admin page. We'll log in, and then we'll go into our local traffic virtual servers. We'll see the VIP is there. When we go and look, you'll see that there is a client SSL profile. We'll go into the profile and look. And see that there are two certificates associated to it. They are not the default certificates. They have specific naming contexts. If we go in and look in our SSL certificate store, the certificates that are used for that SSL profile are there as well. Then we'd go and jump over to the Juice Shop website. And if we examine the certificate being presented, you'll notice it's the same namespace as the certificates on the F5 were. Feel free to use or fork our own Git repository code located in the link below and watch our other videos for more F5 and Ansible lessons.